The Pyramids of Giza are among the most famous and mysterious structures in the world. They stand tall on the edge of the Egyptian desert, just outside of Cairo. Built over 4,500 years ago, they have become symbols of ancient Egypt's power, wealth, and architectural skill. But one question has puzzled people for centuries. How were they built without modern machines, tools, or technology? To understand how these enormous monuments came to be, we have to look at history, archaeology, science, and even the environment of the time. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is the largest of the three pyramids. It was built around 2580 to 2560 BC during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom of Egypt. This massive structure originally stood at about 146.6 meters, although it is slightly shorter now due to erosion and the loss of its outer casing stones. It was made up of over 2 million limestone and granite blocks, each weighing between 2 to 15 tons. At first glance, it might seem impossible that people without cranes or heavy machinery could move such massive stones, let alone place them with such precision. But over the years, historians and archaeologists have come up with several theories, backed by evidence, to explain how this was done. One key point is that the ancient Egyptians were not a primitive society. They had a deep understanding of math, astronomy, and engineering. They were also highly organized, with a strong central government under the pharaoh. This allowed them to plan large projects and gather the labor force needed. Unlike the common myth, the pyramids were not built by slaves. This idea was popularized by movies and some early historians, but archaeological evidence tells a different story. In the 1990s, tombs of workers were discovered near the pyramids. These were not the graves of slaves, but of skilled laborers who were respected and even buried with honors. They worked in teams and lived in nearby temporary villages. Estimates suggest that about 20,000 to 30,000 workers may have been involved in building the Great Pyramid, much fewer than the 100,000 once thought. The building materials came from different places. Most of the limestone blocks used for the body of the pyramid were taken from quarries nearby. The finer white limestone that once covered the outer surface of the pyramid came from Tura across the Nile River. The granite blocks used in the inner chambers came from Aswan, about 800 kilometers to the south. Moving these stones required clever planning and techniques. For the limestone and granite blocks, it's likely the Egyptians used sleds, large wooden platforms pulled over the sand. Recent discoveries support this idea. In 2014, archaeologists found ancient papyrus scrolls at the Red Sea port of Wadi al Jarf. These scrolls were written by Merer, an overseer in charge of transporting limestone from Tura to Giza. His records showed that the stone was carried in boats along the Nile and then transported on sleds once it reached land. Another interesting discovery relates to how the sleds were moved. Scientists studying wall paintings noticed workers pouring water in front of the sleds. This wasn't just to cool the sand, it was a way to reduce friction. Wetting the sand made it firmer, which helped prevent the sleds from sinking. This small trick could have made it much easier to drag heavy stones over long distances. When it comes to lifting the stones, things get even more interesting. There are several theories. One of the most common is the ramp theory. It suggests that large ramps were built to drag the stones up as the pyramid rose. These ramps could have been straight, zigzagged, or wrapped around the pyramid in a spiral. Straight ramps would have required an enormous amount of material and space, which some argue would be impractical. A spiral or internal ramp might have been more efficient, but less visible in the archaeological record. In 2018, a group of researchers found a possible answer at an ancient quarry in Hatnab, used during the same time the pyramids were built. There, they discovered a sloped ramp with staircases and holes for wooden poles. This setup may have helped workers pull heavy stones uphill using a pulley-like system with ropes. If similar ramps were used at Giza, it would explain how the Egyptians managed to raise stones so high 
without needing advanced technology. Some also believe a system of counterweights or levers may have been used, especially for placing stones in tight spaces or high points like the king's chamber. Although there's no direct evidence for this, it fits with what we know about the Egyptians' understanding of physics and simple machines. The pyramid's design was not random either. It was aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. This shows that the builders had a good understanding of astronomy. They may have used the stars or the sun's shadow to guide the placement. The pyramid's base is also incredibly level, even by today's standards, showing the Egyptians' skill in surveying and measurement. It's also important to remember that building the pyramid was not just a construction project. It was a deeply religious and political act. The pharaoh was seen as a god on earth, and the pyramid was meant to help him ascend to the heavens after death. Every detail, from the shape of the pyramid to the items buried within, had spiritual meaning. The effort put into building the pyramid showed the power of the pharaoh and united the people under a shared goal. The construction of the pyramids took decades. The Great Pyramid likely took around 20 years to complete. The workers were organized into crews with each crew responsible for a different part of the job, cutting stone, moving it, placing it, and so on. They lived in nearby camps and were supported with food, tools, and medical care. This level of organization speaks volumes about the planning behind such a massive project. So why do some people still believe in alien theories or lost advanced technologies? Part of the reason is that the pyramids are so impressive, they seem beyond what ancient people could do. But when we look closely at the evidence, tools, records, remains of workers, and scientific studies, we find a clear human story. The real achievement of the pyramids lies not in mystery, but in the incredible skill, knowledge, and determination of the ancient Egyptians. In recent years, technology has helped us learn even more. Tools like 3D scanning, satellite imaging, and chemical analysis have provided new insights. For example, scans of the Great Pyramid have revealed hidden chambers, possibly storage areas, or parts of the structure designed to reduce pressure. These findings continue to shape our understanding and remind us that even after centuries of study, the pyramids still hold some secrets. To sum it all up, the pyramids of Giza were not built by aliens or magic. They were built by real people using smart techniques, simple tools, and teamwork. The stones were moved by boats and sleds raised by ramps and placed with precision. The workers were not slaves, but skilled laborers who worked in shifts and were cared for by the state. Their effort and knowledge made it possible to create structures that have lasted for over 4,000 years. The pyramids stand today not only as tombs for kings, but as a symbol of what humans can achieve when they work together toward a shared vision. They are a reminder of our past and an inspiration for the future. If you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who loves history or ancient mysteries. Got questions, theories, or something you'd like to add? Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos where we explore more amazing facts from history, science, and beyond. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious. See you in the next one.